Hi there, this is Duran with bestsaxophonewebsiteever.com. Today I want to talk to you about intonation. So rather than blabbing on for half an hour, I'm going to show you a little something. Okay, that's enough of that. So basically what that is, is it's a very simple melody that I've entered into my computer using what's known as a MIDI sequencer. So a lot of you who have been involved in music for a while already know what that is. If you don't, um, I have a little explanation and a link uh, down below. Plus you can Google MIDI sequencer to get a better handle on what that is. But basically, it's a way of composing music on my computer. And what I've done here is I've put together a little melody that is based in half notes and whole notes for the most part so that if I were to attempt to play along with this melody any intonation problems between me and the computer um, are going to sound very pronounced as opposed to a melody with lots of eighth notes and sixteenth notes where you don't really get enough time to hear the intonation problems but a melody like this is going to be really tough to play out a tune with and not have it be super noticeable and I just put this melody together because this is video and I don't want to get sued, but it can really be any melody you want. It could be a jazz standard, it could be a major scale, it could be a nursery rhyme, I don't care. As long as it's something, uh, a melody that's slow and elongated to where uh, the pitch inconsistencies will be really obvious. And since the computer plays perfectly in tune, like I said, any intonation problems are going to be totally uh, my fault. And I've also chosen a sound on my computer that uh, doesn't have any vibrato or any kind of wavering in it. So um, I really want those kind of pitch beads of intonation problems to really stand out so I can adjust and get a sense for what I'm doing embouchure-wise and ear-wise that's uh, causing me to play out of tune. So why don't I give this a go and I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> So you get the idea, and in doing that I'm noticing that uh, my E natural on my tenor uh, is generally pretty sharp, which is common, but that's the kind of stuff you learn uh, from doing an exercise like this. So hopefully I've planted a seed, given you some ideas, and it's really uh, well worth doing. Um, anyhow, hope that helped. Again, it's Duran with bestsaxophonewebsiteever.com. Uh -huh.